Hey again, I'm Callum from Turbos, I'm a Casa de Habano in Chester, and today I'm playing Mythbusters. Cigars have been produced for centuries, and as is often the case with anything that old, various myths, rumours and misconceptions have sprung up over the years about how they're produced or how you should smoke them, and anything else to go along with that. So today I'm looking at my top five uh, myths and misconceptions about cigars, starting with number five. Okay, so this one's going first, just because it is somewhat open for debate, so I will leave you to make up your own mind at the end of this. But it all comes down to choosing your cigar. Most people would agree that you need to use three of your five senses when you're selecting a cigar, as I'm gonna demonstrate with this recent release to keep the talisman. First of all, sight. You wanna be checking the cigar, making sure there's no obvious damage, um, and that the wrapper is nice, healthy, shiny, smooth, etc. Next, smell. Very important. Getting a good deep sense of uh, indication of what the cigar might taste like and just checking that it just smells as good as it possibly can. And then finally, touch. Feeling along the cigar, making sure there's no soft spots, making sure it's not too dry, and just generally that it's going to be a good smoke. Now the debate comes in around sound. Some people argue that you can hear the quality of a cigar by rolling it near your ear. Now, most people would say that this isn't true. However, if a cigar is very, very dry and you roll it near your ear, you are going to hear quite a loud cracking sound. But frankly, you'd be able to tell this from simply looking at the cigar or as you squeeze it, it will probably give it away. Even the healthiest of cigars, the freshest of cigars, there will be some kind of crackling sound if you roll it near your ear. So it doesn't really give you too much of an indication. But as I say, it's open for debate and there is a shred of truth to it in my opinion, so that's why I've put it at the top of this list. Anyway, moving on, next up is number four. Okay, so next up we have something that I get told quite often in the shop when people see me lighting a cigar. And that is, you can only light a cigar using a match, and you must never use a lighter. Now, there is a tiny bit of truth in this. Again, uh, if you are talking about one of these little guys, uh, Zippo lighters. So, I know, I know, Zippos are classic, they're fun, you can do all your fun little tricks with them if you're not totally cack handed and useless like I am. But unfortunately they are fueled by petrol and this is what really can ruin the taste of a good cigar. But that's all it really applies to. So if you have something like this, this is a Zyka Alum, and if you look at the flame there, we have a blue uh, jet flame which is fueled by butane, which is odourless, absolutely fine for a cigar, will not affect it at all. Uh, similarly, you don't have to go for a fancy lighter, you can go for Something as simple as a Victor jet, which normally sell for about a quid, and it's again good, strong jet flame. Um, I, I absolutely love these lighters. If, any, if you've ever read my blog, you'll know I have a bit of a thing for these. They're basically invincible, they're really, really cheap, and they're really, really good for cigars, so bear that in mind. And even the humble mini clipper with a soft, butane fueled flame is absolutely fine for a cigar, and you can find them at most news agents, and they're absolutely fine. I can see why people like matches. There is something very, very sort of nice about slowly lighting a cigar with a match, but in the time we're in with the smoking ban in effect, I challenge you to go into an outdoor uh, smoking area and light a 50, 55, 60 ring gauge with a match in even the slightest breeze. <laughs> uh, you will not have a good time. So jet flame lighters, really good way to go and they will not ruin your cigar at all. Anyway. Next. Okay, next up we have a misconception that is probably a bit more common among uh, non-cigar smokers and that is that uh, any good cigar is going to cost you a lot of money. In some cases it is true of course, it's easy to spend 50, 60, even over £100 on a single if you're getting something that's particularly rare or collectible or unusual. But there are things at the other end of the scale where you can get a really good proper handmade cigar for under a tenner and in some cases even under a fiver. Uh, so I've got a few of my favourites here. Um, also 
the time of filming is uh, November 2017, so obviously prices might change uh, if you're watching this further beyond that. But at the time of filming, this is a H. Upman Majestic. Again, one of my personal favourites. You, you may have seen me ranting about them before. £9.58 for a true handmade long filler Havana. Light, creamy, beautiful, easy flavours and a proper anytime cigar. Um, very, very approachable for novices. If you don't mind spending a bit more, we have these that are 11 .99. It's a Flor de Oliva Churchill. So we're talking about an hour to an hour and a half of smoking for just over a tenner at the moment. Or going the other way, just to prove that there are cigars for under a fiver out there. This is a Regis Media Corona and it is £4.89 at the moment for, and perfect for just a quick light smoke. And again, like the almond, suitable for any time of day. So there you go. You don't have to spend ridiculous amounts for money. Um, you can get most of these for less than a trip to the cinema. And personally, I know what I'd rather be doing. So yeah, we'll move on to the next. This next entry is one that's really quite close to my heart as it's something I hear surprisingly often and it genuinely upsets me whenever I do. And that is the idea that cigars are exclusively a male pastime. Uh, I honestly can't tell you enough how many times I've had a lady come up to me in the shop and say, I absolutely love cigars, but I'm not really meant to smoke them, am I? To which I say, rubbish. Sure, historically, cigars might have been something that the men sat down and did while the women were off busy washing up or having a baby. But it's 2017 now, I think we've moved past that. If you like cigars, you have a cigar. Um, I'm gonna have to move on before I get too worked up about this, so let's go on to the next. The final entry for this list is something I get the feeling a lot of people watching this video would have heard before. Uh, but it's one of the most long-enduring myths about Cuban cigars ever, so I had to include it. And that is that cigars are rolled not on a nice flat table, but on the thighs of ladies. Some people just say ladies, others do specify that the ladies have to be virgins. But either way, it's a pretty strange rumour. Uh, beliefs of the origins of it uh, go back to when people were seeing around cigar factories for the first time and they'd see the ladies sorting the tobacco leaves into the various shapes, sizes, strengths, etc. They did this off stacks of tobacco leaves on their lap and gravity would sort of naturally make the leaves wrap around their legs. People saw this and then for some reason in their brains connected the dots to say the ladies were actually using the, their thighs to roll the cigars, which if you think about it is very, very impractical compared to a table. But it's a myth that stood the test of time. A lot of people still bring it up in the shop with us today. And I think for some people it does actually add to the allure of the cigars. So for this final entry, I think we are just gonna have to let it go. So there you go. Those are my top five myths and misconceptions from the world of cigars. What about you? Do you have any favorites that I've missed out? Or just any funny things that you've heard over the years? Don't forget to let us know in the comments. And remember, everything you've seen in this video is available as always at cigars.com, that's cgars.com. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.